Hello there. Uh, welcome to the podcast for the week, everybody. The Derpcast, I should say. We're in episode 23, I believe. So nobody's going to like this one. Get it? Blink-182 jokes. Um, let me make sure. I think this is number 23. It is. It is. Um, so I hope we're doing well today. Happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, October 28th, 2020. Little fun fact. Today is the 13th birthday of Guitar Hero 3 which is kind of interesting. October 28th, 2007, that came out. Uh, so happy birthday to GH3, everybody. Go play it. Go play it. Go play it. Go see if the 360 servers are still up and play battle mode with people. Um, yeah, I, 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 I've been saying all year that I should check if <laughs> it's still up because I know all the Guitar Hero games are down uh, server-wise on like PS3 and Wii, but I think all the 360 games might still be up. I'm not sure. I know Guitar Hero 3 probably still is. But, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, but anyway, that's what today is, Wednesday, October 28th, 2020. Hope you're doing well today in this, in this world that we're, that we're living in. Um, next time I do a podcast, we'll know who the president is for the next four years. <laughs> <laughs> Just realized that. Just realized that. Um, so yeah, we'll see what goes on there. <clears throat> we'll see what goes on there. Um, we have some more stupid Twitch, uh, DMCA news. It's, it's still been, it's still been coming in hot, being dumb. And I don't know if this is DMCA related, but, um, something really big happened yesterday or day before, really recently, where, um, hold on. Where Mr. Herman Lee from Dragon Force was, uh, and from Twitch, which is pretty crazy. Uh, where would I look for that? I think <clears throat> I know I talked about it. All right, there it is. Twitch partner Herman Lee's been banned. Um, people are assuming it's DMCA related. Uh, I think that would be really darn stupid if it was, uh, because he's he plays his own music on his stream. That's it. Uh, so he's clearly. Uh, within the rules, he's the guitarist of Dragon Force. The music is his. So, uh, but we don't know if that's what it's, what the reason is. It could be anything else, you know. So, Herman Lee is off of Twitch now, which is crazy. It's kind of a big deal. <laughs> uh, I know he's streaming on YouTube now instead, so he'll be fine with with that. He'll just switch platforms. But it is crazy. It is crazy this DMCA stuff. Hopefully it gets uh hopefully it all gets sorted out soon. Uh I hope that I keep saying this, but I hope that Amazon um uh, comes out with something where like a streamer, if you're a Twitch streamer, if you have a Twitch account, you're able to like I don't know, buy a license or subscribe to something for so much a month or a year or whatever. Um just to be able to like safely stream uh anything on like Amazon's streaming library, right? And that's as big as like, you know, Spotify or whatever, so like you can play pretty much anything. <clears throat> I don't know why they don't figure something out like that. It'd be nice if they did. Uh because even outside of our little community where we all play music together and enjoy it that way, um you know, like other streamers listen to music in the background while they're playing Call of Duty or whatever, you know? It's 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 crazy. Um it's 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 silly. The, the the DMCA laws are very outdated and they just don't make sense with modern times. You know, they don't. Um, they just don't. Uh, stupid. Stupid. Hopefully it gets resolved soon. I keep wanting uh, Twitch to do something like Facebook did where they sign a major deal with like every record label <laughs> so that partners can uh, stream whatever music they want without having to worry about it. You know, that'd be nice. Uh, anyway, let's go into Rock Band 4 news. Got a few things to talk about. Um, so last week's DLC was... Oh, wait. There we go. Last week's DLC was um, a couple RBN rewinds, like I said. It was Fate of the Maiden by Amberian Dawn and Selkie's The Endless Obsession by Between the Buried and Me. I have not purchased or played these yet. Uh, I'll do that tomorrow. Because tomorrow is the launch of Season 19 of Rock Band Rivals. Isn't that crazy? 19 seasons already. Um, Harmonix put out a blog post about it recently. Um, 
So yeah, it starts this week. They only took a one-week break. Here's the rewards uh, to get uh, if you finish in gold, bloodstone, whatever you get, whatever you do. Um, so yeah, the the theme is churn and burn, I guess. Let me read this. Um, 2020 has been a long and tumultuous year for most, if not all of us. We've had to learn to be kinder to ourselves, allow ourselves simple pleasures to get by, and stay in contact in new ways while strengthening bonds like never before. All of this is heavy, or all of this heavy stuff is to say, we think everyone deserves a treat. For each week of season 19, we're indulging in a different flavor of music and ice cream. <laughs> so that kind of makes sense, I guess, after seeing that. They're, they're focusing on a different genre every week or a different flavor of, of music. And uh, so this week's DLC is pretty exciting, in my opinion. Um, we're getting a little bit off by Five Finger Death Punch, which is like a more of an acoustic-y song from them, which is interesting. And uh, the one I'm really excited for here is Nickelback featuring Dave Martone. I don't know how to say his name. Nickelback's cover of The Devil Went Down to Georgia, which if you guys haven't heard that yet, uh, I have an FC video of it up on my channel. Uh, it was charted really quickly for Clone Hero uh, like a couple months ago, whenever it dropped. Uh, but now it's finally coming to Rock Band, and I'm really, really excited. It's going to be really fun on guitar. It's going to be really solo-y and, and, and crazy. It's going to be a tough FC, but uh, I'm excited for it. It should be good. It should be good. Uh, so I'm assuming that this week's ice cream flavor of music is going to be like heavier stuff, uh, hard rock, heavy metal, that kind of stuff, because we got Five Finger Death Punch and we got Nickelback, so that's going to be the the genre, the flavor. <laughs> for the week, the flavor of the week. Um, so yeah, isn't that fun? Um, and like it always says, uh, season 19, season pass starts this week, and it's going to get you all the music that comes out for uh, Rock Band 4 over the course of the season, uh, regardless of whether uh, the songs are in the spotlight itself for the Rivals Challenges. It's just a big season pass to... Um, to uh, get all the music that comes out this uh, rock band season. So that's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting as always. Uh, tell me guys what you think about Devil Went Down to Georgia. I'm really hyped. I'm really, really excited. I remember recently, I think it was on a Fall Guys stream, someone did a Nightbot request for a little bit off by Five Finger Death Punch, and I remember hearing it then, and it was uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, Five Finger Death Punch is pretty good. I know it's popular to like hate them, and, and some of their beliefs are a little against how I feel about stuff sometimes, but, you know, for the most part, they, uh, they're they pretty good. They're pretty good. They make some catchy tunes. They make a lot of decent covers. They're like a heavy cover band a lot of the time. <laughs> but a little bit off as an original song. Should be okay. Should be okay, man. Uh, let's get into Clone Hero news. Uh, Custom Song Central announced their next, uh, Clone Hero tournament. Um, Custom Songs Central. Uh, which is pretty exciting. The CSC Elite League. Um, here it is. Yeah, they did like a special uh, live stream to uh, reveal who we're all going to be playing. Uh, so we got Dark Lee, Chris for Life, Mackie, Carney, Jared, all the all the awesome people playing, which is cool. I didn't. I never liked this or retweeted it. I should probably do that. Um, so that's exciting. That's some exciting stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, when does this start? I think it starts on November. It said November second, right? CSC Elite League. Yeah. So starting on November second, which is like next week, or this coming Monday. This coming Monday, November second. Um, you guys can uh, check that out over on Twitch.tv/slash Custom Song Central. Uh, it should be interesting to see the, uh, you know, the first uh, tournament they did. A little while ago was a uh, pretty pretty hype pretty hypea hypea it was pretty awesome uh, I'm excited to see it all fleshed out like this a little more having some more players involved um, yeah it should be good it should be good um, I hope that uh, I hope that one day it expands even more so like little piddly dink players like me can join in <laughs> at some point uh, but I, I'm I'm enjoying seeing it uh, expand like this it should be good. Uh, Charts 2 DLC dropped earlier this week, or last week, within the last, you know what I mean. Um, I'm a little bit off today. I'm a little bit off today. Here it is. So as you guys know, Charts 2 came out 
not too long ago for Clone Hero. Um, it was another collection of Chezzy's charts, who's a really prolific and uh, talented charter in the community. Uh, and he has now released, oh, as of October 23rd, so yeah, it was recently. Uh, he released a DLC pack for Charts 2. It's, uh, it's a decent little extra pack. It's like, I don't know, 50 songs or something, maybe more. Uh, but there's like a full album in there. There's some... Um, there's like, uh, there's like uh, I don't know, there's quite a few new music songs. New music songs, man. That was good, yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> there's quite a few of those to uh, look forward to. So, yeah, if you want to download that, that's over on Custom Song Central's website. Charts 2 DLC. Pretty fun stuff. Uh, let's, let's be a narcissistic piece of garbage and talk about myself for a bit. Uh, upcoming videos, I don't think I have any. I'm going to be working on that today. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no. Yeah, the the newest video to go up today was Teenage Dirtbag FC and Rock Band 4. Uh, we've been doing pretty decent video-wise. I, I put up a video a few days ago when your band hates you in Guitar Hero Live, and uh, it's doing pretty well compared to my other stuff. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that's got to be my shtick every year is I release a new, like, funny Guitar Hero Live video because last year was the Whammy video. This year is My Band All Hates Me. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next year, so that's going to be a bridge to cross when we get to it. Here's some other stuff I haven't talked about. I've, I've made a couple uh, Clone Hero charts myself recently. Uh, one I couldn't upload because it's Ice Nine Kills and I'll get I'll get DMCA'd. But one that I could upload was Memories by Maroon 5, which is right here. Um, it was a really easy chart to make. The song's really repetitive in the background, uh, so it was pretty much just copy-paste the whole time my charting process was. <laughs> uh, so there's that. And I also charted um, a live, the new live version of Stabbing in the Dark by Ice Nine Kills. It's going to be on their new live album. Uh, I heard they kill live, which comes out in two days, chat, or everybody. <laughs> I stream so much I call you guys chat. Um, but you know what I mean. So yeah, if you guys want to download my new charts, those are over... Uh, those are over. Uh, I'll I'll link it in the description actually to my to my Google Drive, full of my charts. I made like twenty at this point, twenty one. I don't know. I know I passed twenty recently, so that's exciting. Um, oh, another thing that's happening uh really soon this weekend specifically the thirty first Halloween spooky day. Um, I'm gonna do a twelve hour stream everybody. So I hope you can make it to that. Um. I I don't really know. I mean, I know what we'll be doing. Uh, we're probably going to play a lot of uh, online stuff with the community, a lot of multiplayer stuff, whether that be, you know, Clone Hero, Fall Guys, uh, uh, what's that other game? Golf with your friends, uh, Twitch Sings. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have fun and and just do a lot of a lot of a lot of community stuff, you know. Because whenever I stream, uh, I usually stream games by myself. Even if it's something like Fall Guys, I prefer to do it solo a lot of the time, just so I can like focus and not have to like, <laughs> like if I die, I don't have to wait for everyone else to finish. I'm really, I'm really selfish. But this Saturday, I'm gonna play games with everybody. It's gonna be a fun time. It's gonna be a cool experience. Um, yeah, should be fun. I might break out the eye toy as well because I know that we've been talking about that on the stream lately. Uh, I know a certain member, Trev, keeps saying, play the eye toy, derp. <laughs> and I actually just found it back recently because we cleaned out like our, we had like this this uh, three-tiered drawer thing of like just a bunch of like electronics I never use anymore, a bunch of cords that I don't know what they go to. <laughs> And I found uh, the eye toy back. So I think today maybe I'll like set it all up here with my stream set up and see if I can get it working in OBS and get it looking good. Uh, maybe we'll play around with that. Um, yeah. Yeah, for the most part on Saturday, it's going to be a fun, community-driven day. Uh, I'm excited. And I hope you are too. I hope you are too. Oh, I wanted to check this today too. Because... Everybody, I am, like, super close to uh, 7,000 subs. Oh, I'm 25 subs away, man. If you guys have 25 friends out there and want to tell them to subscribe to a pretty mediocre YouTube channel, you know, lead them here, please. Because <laughs> we're really close to 7,000 subs. 
and uh, that's that's pretty crazy. That's the most subscribers I've ever had on any YouTube channel ever, uh, which I'm pretty proud of and very appreciative of as well. Uh, so that's that's really awesome. Before this, the most subscribers I ever had on a YouTube channel before it was taken down was my previous uh, Dirt Furler channel. Uh, and that was, it, it was like 2,000 or 2,200 subs when it got deleted. Um, so we're doing good so far. Knock on wood. We're still alive at almost 7,000 subs. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to keep on keeping on. I'm going to keep making content for you lovely people. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm glad you enjoy it, and I appreciate the support. You know, it's incredible. I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing. Uh, without you guys, so thank you. Um, let's talk about some uh, some uh, like uh, miscellaneous gaming news stuff that I care about. Um, Watch Dogs Legion is coming out tomorrow. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm really excited for that. Uh, I don't know if I'll get it right away, but once I'm like caught up on like Fall Guys and other games, I want to. Uh, finish for the season or whatever or once I finish like Crash Bandicoot for instance I gotta get back into that uh, I think Watch Dogs Legion will be the next game that I really uh, sink my teeth into uh, it looks good it looks really good like last week I came to the realization I'm like oh my god Watch Dogs Legion is coming out soon <laughs> like it's been delayed so many times like I just kind of forget about it and go on with my life so it's like it's really cool to finally uh be excited for it. It's coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow! Um, Fuser is coming out super soon as well. It comes out on November 10th, which is uh, really soon here. It's, uh, it's not this next Tuesday, but the following Tuesday, November 10th. Uh, Fuser will drop, uh, and I'm really excited for that. They uh, recently re revealed that um, there's some extra music coming in their VIP edition or something. We can look at that. We can take a gander at that, I suppose. Uh, let's see, here it is. Uh, drum roll, please. The Fuser VIP Edition tracklist is here, and your mixes will be on fire. Check out these dope tunes that you'll be able to add to your crate on November the 10th. So yeah, here's all the songs that uh, will be coming with the VIP Edition, which I believe is uh, I believe this is going to be like one big uh, DLC pack if you don't get the VIP edition. Uh, so there's uh, Delanis Morissette, uh, Cranberries, uh, Evanescence, uh, Justin Timberlake, Kelly Clarkson, Miley Cyrus, Nicki Minaj, Sean Paul, Soldier Boy, uh, Usher. Some of these people I don't recognize because I'm an old man who yells at the clouds in his spare time. Uh, so heck yeah. That's pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited for Fuser. It's gonna be a fun. Uh, it's gonna be a fun mashup generator. Uh, I'm really, I'm really excited. I pre-ordered it already. Uh, I wonder if the preload is live yet. Probably not. It's still kind of early for it. But uh, I pre-ordered it on PS4. Uh, as soon as that's available to play, I'ma stream it and get all the DMCA takedown requests. Uh, <laughs> we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Uh, Rocksmith was broken this last week for like two and a half days or something, and that that sucked a lot. That sucked a lot. There was even like a thing you had to do where um, you had to like here, like there was like this weird stuff you had to do in your PC settings. I did everything under the sun that was like recommended either here on Twitter or on like the the Reddit, and I couldn't figure it out. So I was like, I wasn't able to stream Rocksmith for a couple days, and it was like when I really wanted to too. Uh, which was unfortunate, but thankfully it's back up now. The reason that that happened was uh, uh, Ubisoft is doing away with their Uplay service, which is like the the server where like all their game stuff is. Uh, and Rocksmith, the game from 2013, relied on it a lot. And so once they took that away, the game didn't cooperate for a bit. You'd, you'd go to select your profile and the game would just crash. Uh, but thankfully now they fixed it. Uh, I haven't looked recently to see because they fixed it so you could play again online, but the Uplay rewards, like the song Desolate Motion, all the bonus arrangements you could unlock through Uplay, those weren't accessible. Uh, maybe they are now. I don't know. I haven't checked. Um, I'll get back to you on that. So I'll get back to you on that. 
Uh, Spin Rhythm turned one. Can you guys believe that? I can't believe that. Where's my thing about that? Where's my thing about that? Where was it? Here it is. Uh, Spin Rhythm turns one this week, and we're celebrating with giveaway 10 Steam Keys! So, uh, they announced the winners on November 1st, which is, uh, this coming Sunday. Um, so make sure to, uh, make sure to like and retweet this tweet right here, uh, everybody, if you want to win a copy of Spin Rhythm XD. It's a very fun rhythm game. Uh, you can literally just play it with your keyboard and mouse. Uh, it's designed to be used with, like, MIDI turntables and stuff, but if you don't have one, it's totally fine. Like, I've only ever played the game with, uh, mouse and keyboard and a Guitar Hero guitar one time, just to be stupid. But, you know, it works just fine with, uh, keyboard and mouse. It's really intuitive and, and fun to play, so... It's a it's a spiritual successor to DJ Hero. That's how I always uh, describe it to people. So definitely pick that up, guys. Rock Band Three turned ten uh, two days ago. On Monday, Rock Band Three turned ten, and I think that is pretty darn crazy because I remember very well when it came out. I was sixteen. I had just started working at. Um, the grocery store here in town it was my first ever job. I bought Rock Band Three on the Wii with my first ever uh paycheck. Uh I'll I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. Um and I can't believe that that was ten years ago. Honestly. Time goes by so fast lately and it's and it's kind of scary. But uh but yeah that's really cool. We played uh we played a lot of the game last night for, we did a four hour stream. Uh I, I ended it early uh and I and I said that uh we'll finish the game on Friday. because uh, today's Wednesday. Tomorrow we're gonna do Rock Band four because it's going to be a new season. I'm going to XP grind and play all the new stuff. Uh, so I think Friday, uh, the day before the 12-hour stream, we will uh, finish off Rock Band 3, uh, and we'll see where we're, where we're at after that time-wise, of course. But, um, yeah, I can't believe it. Happy 10th birthday, Rock Band 3. Double digits. Double heckin' digits. Something else that makes me feel old is uh, Rocksmith is going to turn 10 next year. It came out in 2011. And, uh, God, I remember that really well, too. I was a uh, junior in high school. I remember I bought a PlayStation 3 just so I could play Rocksmith because I remember at the time I was really, really excited to have a game like this. <laughs> like it's Aria or Rock Band, pointing as hard, but uh, with a real guitar. And uh, I remember at the time all I had was a Wii and... Uh, Rocksmith was only coming out for 360 and PS3 at the time. And I'm like, I have, I gotta get this game. I'm not gonna not have this game. I want to learn how to play guitar. So, and I had had a guitar. I got one for Christmas in 2010. And it was just collecting dust up until then because I was getting unmotivated for learning how to play. And then Rocksmith became a thing and I'm like, oh my god, I have to, I have to get this in my life. It looks incredible. Um, so that's what I did. I can't believe that that was almost 10 years ago, man. We're going to do, this time next year, we're going to do, a, like, a big, I think we'll, like, play Rocksmith 1, like, the career or whatever, and just relive it, because, my God, I can't believe how long ago that was, but it also, like, kind of makes sense, like, that was a while ago, you know, but. Anyway, I was talking about Rock Band 3, and that turned 10. I played a lot of Rock Band 3 on the Wii back in the day as well. Um, I remember learning the, the Pro Keys. Uh, I had the Pro Keys on the Wii, and I eventually got a Pro Keys or a keyboard on the PlayStation 3 as well. Never got one for Xbox. I'm sure if I scour a Goodwill or a pawn shop, I can find one. But uh, I remember having a really tough time with learning Pro Keys, because you're literally learning like actual piano and keyboard parts. Uh, that was one thing that Rock Band 3 did, was uh, it introduced the Pro Mode. Um, it was the first game to have Pro Drums, Harmonies for the entire library, um, you know, uh, pro keys, did I say pro keys? Pro keys, pro drums, pro guitar and bass, uh, just all the things, all the things. It was a very ambitious, uh, rock band game. It had a lot going on at the same time. Uh, it seemed like a natural evolution at the time too, because this was the third rock band game and, you know, they, they attempted to make it so you could actually learn how to play real music with the game, which was cool. Uh, the whole pro guitar thing was really cool. I I don't like how the the interface looked. I never played pro guitar like hands on myself, but I've seen video footage of it, uh, and it just looks really complicated to read. 
Uh, I'm glad Rocksmith exists because I, if I had to learn guitar through Rockman 3, I would have not stuck to it. Uh, and plus, like, learning with tabs over the years and stuff, I never could stick to that either. Uh, but anyway, and Harmonix has actually said themselves, like, if you want to learn guitar with a video game, go play Rocksmith. Like, they've actually said that themselves. Like, they even know that they didn't do very good with it, <laughs> which is kind of, kind of sad, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but anyway, I remember learning the keyboard quite a bit. I remember putting a decent amount of time into it. Uh, I remember I learned, I remember Take On Me was released as DLC for Rock Band 3. I remember, remember being really excited for that because I wanted to learn the main da 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 you know the part you know take on me, uh, and I remember I learned it I learned it because because the game didn't have it had regular practice mode and it also had like a like a riff practice mode where you could like pull up a song and instead of like practicing each section it would just give you like the most common like melodies you'd be playing in the song over and over in these different like training situations and uh i remember practicing the main part to take on me quite a bit and i remember i got it down after a while and then i went and i grabbed my mom's actual like yamaha keyboard from 1980 something and i turned it on and played take on me and i'm like oh my god i can do things i can play keyboard man Fast forward 10 years later, I completely forget how to play Take On Me, but <laughs> at the time, at the time, it was really exciting. It was really, really exciting. Um, so, so that was pretty good. Uh, pro Drums, the only experience I've had with Pro Drums was never even with Rock Band 3. It was uh, Rock Band 4. Uh, right after Rock Band 4 came out and they released the cymbals for Rock Band 4 drums, I bought those. And I had a pro drum set up for a little bit, uh, and then one day the blue symbol stopped responding, so I just quit using pro drums. And then eventually I came to realize, oh, the Rock Band 4 drums are literal garbage. So now, these days I play with a janky PS3 drum set with socks on it, because <laughs> that's my best option. But uh, yeah. Anyway, happy 10 years to Rock Band 3. I can't believe it's been 10 years. Uh, here's to Here's to many more. You know, here's to many more. Guitar Hero's turning 15 in November, and that makes me feel, that makes me feel, uh, what's the word? Not old, uh, geriatric. That's the word I want. I feel geriatric. That's how old I feel when I think about the fact that Guitar Hero's turning 15. 15 years, man! That's a long time. Sure doesn't feel like it. Um, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this week's Clone Hero Rivals Challenge. Uh, as you know, myself and Wings of a Meme have a um, have an ongoing weekly challenge for the community in Clone Hero, uh, where we give you songs to play until the next Saturday, and then we uh, compile your scores. Whoever has the most points will get some priority requests. Whoever has the most stars from the star challenges will have VIP status in the chat for a week. Uh, it's fun little things like that. Uh, but anyway, this week's uh, pack is called Just Add Scream and Sugar, and uh, it is Halloween-themed, because it would be a shame if we didn't make a Halloween week. Uh, but we got Witch Hunt by Rush, Ghostbusters, Feed My Frankenstein, Spooky Scary Skeletons, Ghost, Twilight Zone, American Nightmare, Fear of the Dark, This is Halloween, Monsters, Thriller, Monster Mash, Scary Mask, Little Monster, and I'll Kill You That Way by the Slash Street Boys. Uh, so you can download it over on our Discord, like I said. Just scroll all the way down to CH Rivals Challenge. Click the little link there, and uh, there's also a form here to submit your scores and your screenshots and whatnot so we can uh, properly find out who uh, dominated this week. Uh, and here's all the star challenges for the for the songs. So yeah, how about that? Um, hopefully you guys are excited about that and you want to uh, take part. So It's there for you. You can uh, submit your scores until this Saturday, the 31st, at uh, at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern. So, have fun. Have a lovely time. Uh, it looks like we don't have any podcast questions this week. I'm going to check quick just to be sure. Uh, as soon as Discord wants to load, of course. Yeah, we got nothing. We got nothing. That's okay. If you guys want to add questions to the podcast questions tab on Discord, you can do that anytime you want. You can ask me anything you want, within reason. Uh, so, you know, have fun with that. 
have fun with that. If you guys also want to leave some questions down below in the comments for me to answer on the following week, I'm not against that either. Uh, if you don't want to join Discord, if you're not part of that, you can also leave questions down below in the comments, and I'll and I'll answer those uh, next week if you want. Uh, so yeah, I have no problem with that either. Um, so without further ado, uh, I believe that is the end of the derp cast for the week, number twenty three. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There comes a time during every single uh, Derpcast where we need to say goodbye to each other. And sadly, this is one of those times. I would like to thank each and every one of you for listening. Me and awesome people. I love you all uh, a freaking bunch. You know, I mean that. I mean that. Um, yeah. Um, we'll be back next week with another podcast. It'll be the first podcast of November. Hopefully you guys are excited for that. We're entering we're entering turkey time, turkey season, holiday season really. Uh it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting hol- holiday season for uh for, for all of us, I'm sure. Uh this year's been uh pretty weird. Pretty weird, pretty awful, pretty uh yeah, pretty challenging. So uh hopefully we can all uh hopefully we can all celebrate in um in ways that hopefully we can all adjust right that's the that's the that's the best thing to do um and adapt we'll be okay we'll be okay um so yeah everybody until next time be good to yourselves be good to each other i love you all a freaking bunch and i hope we can see each other again soon have a wonderful rest of your day and happy halloween i shouldn't have done that what is wrong with me